change as far as your decision making process for next year? Are you still kind of waiting until after the poll for that? Yeah, you know, for, for my family and I, it's, uh, it's something that, you know, I, I think I think we we wish we could have an answer by now, but you know it just hasn't come to me. Um, and you know I knew that that I wanted to play in the bowl game. You know there's there's no doubt. You know I wanted to get out there with my my boys uh, at least one more time and um, just go out there, finish the season on the on the right note with five wins. Um, you know in a row and. Uh, yeah, but but ultimately, just you know, haven't haven't come to a decision yet. You know, my, my family and I, and me personally, uh, just haven't. Nothing's too clear for me right now. So. We heard that you know during that blue game against, against South Carolina that you were one of the sick ones. Um, what was that week like? Yeah, it was horrible to be honest. With you. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I uh, went to bed Sunday not feeling. Too great. Was hoping it was just going to be something quick, but you know, woke up Monday morning feeling feeling pretty bad. Uh, you know, went in, tested positive for the flu. Um, it wasn't sure kind of how the the week was going to progress, but tried to get out there on Thursday. You know, just couldn't get through practice. Cause just wasn't feeling well still. Um, but you know, ultimately decided we were going to you know still make to the, the, the trip to Columbia. Um, you know, do what we could to get get me ready for the game Saturday, and uh, you know was just able to make it happen. Huge shout out to the, the you know training staff and, and everybody that you know kind of helped me get there um, but yeah you know was just able to go out there win the state championship which is is all we wanted to do so it was, it was a great time what percentage we put on like where like you were in that game like compared to normal where you're like 70 yeah you know it's just so tough I mean um, you know because you talk about the physical and mental side of the game you know mentally I was I was fully there you know I was able to get caught up with you know Phil especially being my, my roommate helping me out coach Spiller doing a great job with me coach Riley um, you know physically I'd, I'd say you know, I really hadn't run all week so I, I couldn't put a, a number on it. I'd say anywhere from probably 50 to 75 percent going out there I mean just hadn't hadn't gotten uh, any physical preparation during the week so wasn't too sure what I was going to get when I went out there but you know another huge shout out to coach Spiller um, shows how how great of a job he does managing um, you know his room and and all the reps with with everything going on so huge shout out to him was that the worst you felt playing a game physically though would you say would that be the worst yeah no doubt no, the one one hundred percent. Um, you know, I, I try to think back to another game I've had like that, but um, you know, that was definitely the, the the most sick that I've been leading up to a game and, and also during a game, you know, just would would go two or three plays and, and you know, just felt the urge to um, you know, throw up, get off the field. I mean, it was it was it was a tough, tough weekend and then kinda set me back a little bit, so had to had to get back, you know, early, early the next week, the week after the South Carolina game. But hey, we we, we got the job done. So I was happy. <laughs> How do you push yourself through that mentally during the game when you feel like you got to puke every other play? Yeah, you know, it's tough, but you know, you look out there and, and you see Phil struggling too from having to go, you know, nine, 10, 11 play drive straight. So, um, you know, Coach Sweeney actually showed us a video this week that, that summed it up tremendously. Um, and it's just like, ultimately what would you do or the, the greatest teams, the greatest competitors are going to dig deep and find a way to uh, fight for their brother beside them. So, um, you know, I'd say Phil, uh, you know, firsthand and then, you know, just all my other teammates going out there, knowing what they sacrificed for me, um, especially just not being able to go out there Monday through Thursday practice wise. You know, I, I'm, I just miss being out there with the guys. So, you know, just ultimately wanted to get out there and, and, uh, and play with them and help them out as much as I could. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, it's been great just getting out there to even practice with the uh, with the guys. Um, you know, first kind of full week back with it even being finals week, but um, you know we'll we'll kind of disconnect at the early part of next week and get a little time with the families at, at home or wherever you know the players choose to be, and then we get to the bull site. We got a, a Tanoga Christmas. I mean, freaking incredible, right? We're just. Um, you know, me personally, I'm just so excited to get out there. Like you said, don't know if it's going to be my last opportunity or not. Um, so we're just going to make the absolute most of it, um, you know, soak it all in and, and uh, go out there and just try to make the biggest impact that I can. Any questions for Will virtually? Yeah, Will, Larry Williams of Tiger Illustrated. Um, apologies if you've already addressed this, but the decision, is it strictly coming back to Clemson or NFL, or is it also the transfer possibility? 
Yeah, you know, that's a, that's a great question. And, you know, with, with uh, where I am at, at this point in the process, you know, it's either to move on to the next level, um, you know, being the NFL or staying back and, and you know, continuing to be a Clemson Tiger. Um, you know, transferring is just not something that my family and I, um, you know, think we represent as a family. Not saying that it's not a great option for some people, but for me in my position uh, where I'm at, you know, it's it's either uh, on to the big leagues or, you know, staying back at Clemson University and, and being a Tiger for one more year. Thanks, sir. Any other questions for Will? Hey, Will. This is Go ahead, Anna. Yeah, hey, Will. Um, and you probably already answered this previously again, but can you just shed light again on how you or where you are at the decision making process in terms of anything that you'd like to share that you're still weighing? Yeah, you know, I think um, if I'm if I'm being as transparent as I can be, it's just that uh, you know I've I've really just been back and forth. You know, some mornings I wake up and you know I think there's no other option than to to move on and and go try my luck. You know, at the NFL, and then some days I wake up and I think you know it'd be stupid to not come back and um, come win a national championship with with the guys that I came in with. So um, you know, it's a it's a difficult decision, and and I wish I could sit here and say that you know I, I do have a, a decision that I've made but you know I'm still just so back and forth with it um, you know going to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ just hoping that that he'll give me an answer um, but also in no rush you know like I said I'm just I'm soaking it all in enjoying every moment um, you know with my best friends teammates coaches everybody that has shaped me into who I am you know today through this program and uh, yeah you're just enjoying it but um, honestly at a stalemate stalemate with my Myself right now, just uh, you know, trying to to make that decision and, and see it clear. What are like the pros and cons that you think about on each side? Yeah, um, you know, I think the first thing that comes to mind is you know just the position I play. You know, being running back. Um, you know, having a little bit of uh, being devalued at the next level uh, and just the the small shelf life that that we're kind of being. Um, get given a reputation to so you know those are some of the things to think about but then also um you know that I'm just a, a 21 21 year old kid just trying to uh you know in, enjoy life and and take in every moment you know this is the the sport that I began pa playing when um you know I couldn't even dream of of being where I am now so also taking that that kid mindset and realizing that um you know, you just, you just got to have fun with everything you do in life. And, and while you do have to make great, smart decisions for yourself, uh, you, you can't look at everything with a business decision, but also have to look at the emotions and, and everything involved in it as well. Um, well, I think it's just a situation where uh, w when you get a, an elite back, um, y you look at the, the margin between him and maybe a, a rookie guy that you can pay millions of dollars less to, to produce somewhat close to, to the same output, right? So you, you get that component, and then you also look at it uh, from you know, the shelf life that I mentioned and um, you know, looking – like, you know, we're, I don't know the exact average years, but it, you know, it can't be more than three, four years, right? Which you know, that's when you get out of your first contract. So, um, you know, I, I think j just the position overall in general, we, we've got to continue to just show our worth, you know, go out there and, uh, you know, it's huge having two first round guys this past year and they've, they've done a great job out there. So just continuing to do that, prove ourselves as, as backs and, um, just expand, our, our potential and what we can do and, and what we can produce. You know, being able to catch the ball out of the backfield is something I emphasize in my game because, you know, I think it's going to help at the next level and uh, giving me a little bit more value as a, as a back. It makes the decision really complicated, though, in terms of like you don't want to put too much tread on your tires. Obviously, before you get there, but at the same time, you might want to be as prepared as you are as you can be um, for that contract. Yeah, it definitely does. You know, it's just looking at it from two different perspectives. Um, you know, if you head out, you're one year closer to that second contract. Um, you know, you, you take less tread off your tires and, uh, you know, you're, you're younger going into it. But uh, at the same time, you know, I think if God willing, no huge injuries happen, you know, I think I can, I can continue this for 
10, 10 plus years. You know, I really do. And, and, and it's what you put into it. And like I said, so many things have to align. You know, you, you can't get injured. Um, you got to go to the right organization. I mean, so many things go into it. But uh, at the end of the day, you just got to follow God's path. And, and for me, you know, I think that could be 10 plus years in the NFL. What's, what's one year going to hurt me? Um, but at the same time, you know, you got to look at it from different perspectives and see it as something like uh, that, that one year could be the difference, you know, between um, millions of dollars and not making it to your second contract. Or uh, if you do go on missing a national championship, right? I mean, I could go through a million scenarios that, that go through my head, you know, day in and day out. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's definitely a tough decision, and those are things you have to weigh, weigh in to, to uh, make it. Yeah, it definitely helps. You know, I love love my guy Zero. <laughs> you know, like I said, you know, just the guys that I came in with, um, those are who I consider my brothers. I mean, I, I got 139 of them, no doubt, but those guys that, that I came in with, my class, we have a special bond and uh, was, was pumped to see, you know, Barrett make the decision to come back. Uh, you know, also pumped for you know, guys like Jeremiah and Nate who have decided, you know, they're going to move on. Um, I think it's, it's great for, for them. But, yeah, seeing Zero come back definitely uh, helps it out a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's a great, uh, great question. You know, I think after the South Carolina game, when I was asked, I just, I really hadn't put any thought into it. You know, I was um, so focused on finishing the season, you know, in the right note and, and winning that state championship, you know, checking that goal off. So, um, you know, I, I, I didn't want to answer one way and then, you know, something happens and, and not be able to kind of step back on that word. Uh, so I just wanted to leave everything on the table. But, you know, as I mentioned earlier, uh, my parents and I have, have discussed it now and it's just not going to be an option for me, um, you know, with everything going on in today's world. Yeah, there is good opportunities to do so, but you know I freaking I love Clemson University and um, you know what it's done for me. I, I feel like I'd be doing myself and you know everyone a disservice if I were to take that route. It's just not something that um, not something that came to my family and I as, as uh, plausible.